The Prayer Mat At the end of the lesson, the teacher told the students that there would be a happy occasion today, as the principal of the school will announce and honour the outstanding students of this month. After a while, the principal and some teachers came to the classroom. They stated that one of the best students in the school was the student Roma. The teacher congratulated Roma and asked his classmates to congratulate him too, who wished him more success and more excellence. A student named Yazan stood and said to the teacher that the success of Roma was the success of the whole class. The teacher praised his morals and his kind behaviour. Then she said goodbye to them and went out. After the end of the school day, Roma walked home as usual with his friend Yazan. On their way, Yazan congratulated him once again, the happiness appearing on Yazan's face. He kept thinking about giving him a valuable gift. After long thinking, Yazan preferred to delay his decision until meeting with his mother. In the evening, Yazan sat with his mother and asked her, Mum, Mum, could you help me in choosing a gift for my friend Roma? Because of his excellence this month, I hope the gift will be precious and useful. Yes, darling, of course. What about giving him a set of drawing pencils? Or some toys that he loves, Yazan's mother suggested. Well, but I want to give something different. A special gift. Maybe others will give him gifts like these, Yazan said. All right, tell me. Has Roma begun to pray? Yazan's mother asked. Yes, indeed, he has begun to pray, Yazan answered. He told me. I go repeatedly with my father to the mosque, and it makes me very happy. He also prays at home with his mother and sisters. Sometimes he recites short surahs with them from the Holy Quran, Yazan added. You could gift him a prayer mat. What do you think? It will be his own, and he can pray with it everywhere, Yazan's mother said. Amazing! Good idea, Mum. He will be very happy. Besides, it will help him to be steadfast in his prayers. The next day, Yazan went with his mother to the market to buy the prayer mat. Yazan did not forget to say the prayer for entering the market, which he learned from his mother. Since Yazan knew the colours Rama loved, he chose the mat carefully. Then he put it in a gift box and returned home. A few days later, Yazan went with his mother to Rama's house, gave him the gift box and said, You can open it now. Rama opened the box and found the prayer mat. Wow! What a wonderful mat! He was very glad about it, as he always wished to have one. Ramad hugged Yuzan warmly and thanked him for the beautiful gift. Why don't we pray together every day in the mosque, and you can bring your own mat with you too? Ramad suggested. After he'd heard that, Yuzan was over the moon and said, Yes, yes, of course. From then on, they prayed together every day in the mosque.